So, I had this idea for storing audio on paper. Now, I knew right away that the quality of the audio wouldn't be all that great, but I wanted to do sort of a proof of concept. Well, okay, here's the audio track. It's a piece of music I did back in October, and I'll play a little bit of it so you can hear what the original audio sounds like before we get started. Alright, so anyway, to store this on paper, we're going to need to convert the audio to a relatively low bandwidth, simple format. I converted it to a monaural audio with a sample rate of 8 kHz, downsampled down from 44.1 kHz, which is CD quality. And here it is, converted in Audacity to the simpler format. As you can hear, it's slightly lower quality, but you can still hear the music. It's about what you'd hear over the phone. And now I want to convert this wave data into an image. That's simple enough if we save it in a headerless raw format and import it into the image editor like Photoshop as a raw bitmap image. I won't uh, get into the exact specs, but it's 8-bit data, and the audio samples translate directly into pixels in the image. Now, before printing, I increase the vertical resolution so that each line gets a little redundancy. This helps preserve the detail after printing it out. Also, the original import resolution and sound length are added to the printout. And now to print it out. Here's our printout. You can see the printer added some vertical lines and some other noise to the image. This will introduce some distortion and noise in the final audio, as you'd probably guess. Again, it's fairly certain that the end result is not going to be high fidelity. So from here, I'll stick this in a flatbed scanner and import it back into Photoshop to begin our test. Here's our scan. You can see it's a bit faded, and I've had to adjust the positioning, skewing, and rotation slightly so that it's aligned properly. It scanned in pretty well. There's still a little tweaking needed to get it just right. Alright, here's our waveform ready to export back into Audacity to test the audio and hear how it sounds. I adjusted the contrast further and skewed it a bit more to get rid of the some slight edge issues. It looks very close to the original wave bitmap that I imported. Let's see what happens. Here it is. This is the rough scan before tweaking it. You can see the waveform is a lot different from the original and it contains a lot of noise. Alright, as you can hear, there is a lot of noise from the printing and scanning process. You might also notice some echo. That's due to bleed over from adjacent vertical lines. Overall, it really doesn't sound great, but you can definitely hear the original music down on the noise. Now here's the audio from the tweaked and cleaned up scan. It's still noisy, but not quite as bad as before. Again, the echo is an artifact from the vertical lines blending together slightly. Anyway, it's not an optimal method for storing audio, but it's sort of a proof of concept, and it might be a novel way of storing some low fidelity audio like short voice recordings. I just wanted to demonstrate how it's possible to do this. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.